or drinking more water. I think that's it. Honestly, you get to a level of proficiency that you're like, I did that faster than I've ever done it. Yeah, yeah I feel like I'm now you're just stuff. real quick. Well, now I feel like I'm missing everything because I'm like, that, oh, that took me because you did the time. it too fast. Yeah, and I'm like, I yeah, need to check everything. Now. That's how I feel about Double every check. time that I hang on. Every time that I start the stream, because on like spell jammer days where I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of doing everything, yeah. I'm like, I missed something, and then there's always one fucking hole that I didn't put my foot in, and I'm like, <laughs> it was the intro title, which I did get last time. Oh, good. And now all the episodes have the titles, so now we're good. Good. Um, have we, are we have we started? Is this a start? You did the clap. I did do the clap. Um, yeah, we can start. You, okay, you we, were we, were start, we, we were getting ready to set up the sound, and then we started talking. We we're like, shut up! We have to start the podcast and then start talking. Yeah, we were, um, but we talking about Christ. Yeah, yeah, you said I was like, guys, I've got some good news today because I was about to push the tweet. So we're gonna start there, and then we'll go down the line of yeah. everything. So I I'm putting oh yeah question time with that little guy with the cup, and he's going drink. Yeah, and I typed in the hashtag, and for the first time. The hashtag came up when I typed it. Oh. I didn't have to type it all the way in. Every time I put it on Twitter to type it all the way in. This time, it was there. I was like, wow. oh. it, was, it was like three down. But I was like, yeah, that's the big news. That's so that, that was big news. But when I was saying well, there's big news, and I'll say it when we start the podcast, you went, is it the Stardew Valley update? Yeah. Which has possums in it. It does. And that was kind of a, that was a really big discovery here yeah. in yeah. the, in the, but bud's household uh-huh. but um the yeah it was pretty it's pretty huge yeah i was editing and i heard from behind me because your desk is right there and yeah you went you this is the sound spencer made none of you are gonna believe me yeah. she went <gasps> i thought something terrible had happened <laughs> i turned around and i went what what you were like D- i think there's possums and i was like oh my god yeah. that's great it that's was. great for you i was so walking happy. along the little mountain path to my farm and there was just a little possum and he got spooked and he ran into a bush yeah. and i was like <gasps> It's him. The but what I did say was is uh, is that the good news? And I said no. The good news is Jesus actually. And yeah. you both went oh. oh yeah. And you were like I don't know about that. And I was like. <laughs> and I was like, is it because we watched the Prince of Egypt last night? Okay, no. But th- you know, actually, I am making the meme because of that. But I did want to talk about that a little bit before we get into what we're mm-hmm. getting into mm-hmm. tonight because we did watch Prince of Egypt the other day because like last I, night. Like last night, because yeah. uh, I had some of the music stuck in my head because I watched that movie a lot when I was a kid. Yeah. And I was like, the music slaps. We should watch this again. You've never seen it. I've I was never like, seen what? It, yeah. And before Descend last week, Spencer, uh, Mia and I were like, because yeah. we're the only two people that had seen it, apparently. Yeah. And uh, uh, we watched it last night. And it's still a great movie. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, but, uh, and it's very pretty, and the music yeah. is great. Um, and all that stuff. And uh, look, I'm not watching that movie for the values of God. Like, that's not what I'm no, getting at. We were, it's pretty. We were memeing that movie a little we bit. We were. I want to talk about the funniest thing <laughs> I think you've ever said during a movie, which was last night. Which was Spencer. So in that movie, uh, which in case you don't know, like maybe Craig doesn't know. Do you know? Have you seen this movie? I have, but I don't, I probably... probably. Probably for 10, sure, ten years ago, it was yeah. quite legendary. It's yeah. hard if you missed it, which is crazy that Colton has never seen it. But anyways, uh, be, be, it's about Exodus, the story of Moses, and yeah. he. There's a part where uh, he wants he 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 wants Pharaoh to let all those Hebrews go, yeah. and uh, God's like, he doesn't do that. We're I'm sending plagues, my guy, and mm-hmm. that's the best song in the whole movie yeah. is the plagues. And uh, so, and the Pharaoh's real stubborn. He's like, nope. Yeah, I don't care if you send locusts and you send, and all the fields dry up yeah. and the and the Nile turns to blood. Yeah. I'm not releasing these people. And so uh, Moses is like, you're going to, dude, this is going to suck for you. Mm-hmm. And then the event of Passover happens, mm-hmm. which is when, uh, in a, you know, it, I'll explain it and then we'll go to the movie version, yeah. uh, which is when uh, basically God will puts his foot down and yeah. he's like, all right. Israelites, put uh, lamb's blood over your doors, and I won't kill your babies. And then kill the firstborn. And then born. the baby, the firstborns, yeah. and then the firstborns get killed, including the Pharaoh's firstborn, and he lets the people go. That's the only part that matters about this story. We're watching. The, I know this. Yeah. We're watching the movie, and it's it's all dark. It's real cinematic. Yeah. And the sky opens up, and a. I didn't. I didn't remember it like this. Because I don't watch this with a dull brain. A a ghostly mist descends from Mm -hmm. the sky and just goes through the the little village. Mm -hmm. And Spencer says, didn't God promise he wasn't going to do this shit again? (laughs) Yeah. 
And I was like, and I go, well, no, he said, and then I was like, never mind. That is the fucking funniest thing ever. Did God promise he wasn't going to do this no. shit again? I was like, he promised he wouldn't flood the I, entire world. Yeah. But the thought that you're like, this whole like killing a bunch of babies. I thought he said he wasn't going to yeah. do this anymore. He's like God this. keeps dunking on babies. He did. He did. He did. And then we, and then after that bit, we were like, man, it sucks your babies died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn. And then, and then in the next shot, all the babies are dead now. Yeah. And Moses is right behind uh, the Pharaoh. It, he's He has his freshly dead son. Yeah. And he's laying him down on the tablet, yeah. on the on the on the on the stone, covering him up alone. Yeah. And Moses is behind him, just standing there. Yeah. No one else is there. No one. And you go, Moses, my guy. This is a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> you should not be here. The thought that he's like, hey, just checking in again. Yeah. Can, I, can we leave? Can we leave? Can we leave? Uh, <laughs> God. Yeah. And then the next song, which is like the song that got big hype and like played on the radio and stuff, you know, the there can be miracles starts yeah. off real melancholic. You know, yeah. there's a scene where Moses, he's all sad because babies died. Uh, but then they're singing because they get to finally be free and leave. Yeah. And, and then it turns into like this hoedown later on, which mm-hmm. is cool. But it feels through the progression of that song, it feels like all of the Hebrews leaving Egypt are like, Ooh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> Anyways, that's that. That's what we did last night. It was yeah. it was funny. Also, and, when he goes and talks to the burning bush, we were we we're making fun of him because God's like, "Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. Let me see your feet." <laughs> yeah. He's like, <laughs> I was like, it's what holy, if that's not holy God? Ground. And there's just a guy in there yeah. who's like, "Leave your chanclas." Yeah. <laughs> I want those. He does. He leaves his he, shoes there. He leaves and never puts shoes on again. Yeah. God took his chanclas, dude. <laughs> Oh. He gives his powers are mysterious at yeah. last. Like, I, I will show you my wonders, shoes. and his shoes fly away. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, oh. Yeah. thanks for taking my shit. Yeah, but if you want to know my relationship to that movie, which I talked to you about last night, yeah, uh, I had uh, family friends who were like part of the church um, when I was a kid, mm-hmm. and like we would go to the beach and stuff. I have vivid memories of uh, Sean was his name, who uh, we would reenact parts of that. He and he, this is like an adult person. Yeah. This was just with some other kid, um, and we went out of the ocean. And I had a big stick, and he'd be like, "I will show you my wonders," and I would shove it into the ocean. Yeah. And I was like, "Yep, that that's a little glimpse of my childhood." Yeah. And then I went home and made candle sculptures in the toilet. Yeah, did you get baptized in the ocean? I did. That's cool. That yeah, it was cool. actually kind of hard. <laughs> so I was yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah, I got baptized in the ocean. I didn't do it in a hot tub." Oh uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I feel that. Have you been baptized? Have I ever leave you no. been baptized? I feel like I, I probably was at some point, but I don't know if I'm, if oh, man. I'm for sure. Right. I don't know. We're going to have to get on that. Arcade yeah. Arcade Baptist. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just, just cover all the bases. Can we go to the beach? Yeah. No, that's my thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, guys, you can't do it the way I did it. Can we go to the, the pool at the Y? YMCA? Yeah. Chlorine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We- yeah. And God will show you his wonders when yeah. you open your eyes in the chlorine and they sting <laughs> for three <laughs> like, days. Oh, oh it's piss. <laughs> Good shit over there. Yeah. yeah. There can be miracles in the chlorine. All right. <laughs> I put together a little thing for us today. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, w- all right. I'm now. Um, I'm now. We 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 have to stay on strict schedule. Um, okay. I'm looking at the numbers here. Um, yeah. The last episode, the D and D episode. Uh, it's, it's doing the numbers. Um, that's because that's, that's bait. It yeah. is bait, but it but there, but it's got seven thousand views. Yeah, that's true. And it did really good on Spotify as well. So, oh. um, uh, guys, we're a D and D podcast again. Um, oh, I told yeah, Spencer, I was right. she was like, I don't want to do that, and I was like, okay, two a month, two episodes a month have to be. Yeah, D&D and I get episodes. a little treat after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's well. But I I'll make it fun. Yeah. All right. So I I I spent too much time making before uh, before we start this. I apologize. I have a little bit of a cold, so if I'm coughing, mm. um, just uh, get over it. I think. Yeah. I, I can't oh. help it. I got a little cold. I can already hear them honk shoo me me me. My me. my baby got me sick. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You got me sick too, but I got better faster. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I made a little Jeopardy D and D. Jeopardy. That's where we're going to play today. Oh, Jeopardy. Uh, Jesus Jeopardy Christ. D&D. Wow. I'll the tagline looks wrong. Le- Leopard D&D. <laughs> the what? But now it's I can't a, see it. Yeah. <laughs> Jeopardy D&D. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, this, is, this is a curse. Jeopardy sounds like a slur. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't. I don't know why that makes me uncomfortable. It kind of sounds like leper. Yeah, uh, you know, maybe that's. It. Yeah, maybe that's, that's probably it. it. So, um, I'm not going to explain anything. In Canvas, uh, I I want Canvas. So normally there. So we've got five categories here. Uh, okay. Um, well, what I made it? this on on yeah. So we're Can you see that well? in in yeah. a way okay. to you know really turn this into a D&D podcast. Oh I figure we could answer D and D trivia. So there. Okay. That means we're talking about D and D. Right. And then we'll get the people in. Oh. And then they can hear us talk about Prince of Egypt as well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so one for, you know, it's a real, real trade here. So I'm subjecting you both to trivia that I wrote. Um, but, anyways. But, but before the show fest, I, uh-huh. I, I have a question. Yeah, of course. You, you did bring up the analytics. Mm-hmm. How many people that watch us have ever even seen an episode of Jeopardy? Or. That's true. Versus, because this is where the real question comes in. Yeah. Versus how many times they played it inside their school. Dude, because I probably mm. played Jeopardy at school more yeah. than I ever watched an episode. Really? Oh, probably. You never yeah. watched Jeopardy? That's crazy. I don't think so, dude. Well, I, I probably seen scenes, yeah, and probably episodes for sure. Yeah. I would be. But I think what my, my my conditions. I've probably played more Jeopardy at school, <laughs> in a in a learning format than I had seen recreation. <laughs> that's that's great. I would love to know that. That's that's really interesting to me because I'm I'm the opposite because I was homeschooled. And my sense. dad watched it all the time. Yeah. My dad loves Jeopardy. So I've watched uh, so much Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. And we would play it. Like, we would watch it. And it was a family. It was like family game time sometimes. It was mm-hmm. like we'd sit down and, and play it. And, like, it's super hard. And I don't know any of it. Yeah. But <clears throat> my dad would always be like, I could be, I could be on this show. I feel like there was a time where he was watching it. Or we were playing a game similar to that. And yeah. I got a question right. And I was like, I'm, I'm impressing him. He was like, Wow. You yeah. knew that. I was like, I did know that. Wow. I'm I'm intelligent. This was years ago. No, of course. I, I don't think he actually thought I wasn't intelligent. Just mm-hmm. it felt good to to share in this. this oh, like, to this have was like, Kim this was like ten years ago. Be like, wow, oh, wow. to trivia. Wow. Yeah, that's that's yeah. quite the achievement. Yeah, and yeah. then because my when your dad invited us to is... his trivia night gang, because your dad was in a little a little, little trivia night. Man, thing. I miss that trivia. It night. was a good trivia night. God, COVID killed it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it was sad. Yeah. They st- they had brought it COVID back. COVID. There's a pizza place in town that did it. It yeah. was a lot of fun. You get three dollar tacos. It was yeah. beautiful, and there was trivia. And then COVID came and it di- it died. It but did. then they brought it back. But it sucks now. Oh yeah. yeah. It unfortunately you have to do it on your phone now. It's not as fun. People cheat. Yeah, yeah. And it's on a different day. Your dad liked it to be on Tuesdays, and now it's yeah. on Wednesdays. He's yeah. like, it's different. It's too bad. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, we we my dad is probably the reason why you played a lot of Jeopardy in school. Because he was probably in the ELA ears, being like, like, "We should do this." I, like I always had fun. I was just that's. Uh, I that's think great. it's just interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, so like, this is like educational for you. Yeah, yeah. That's that's I, it, what's interesting. That's it, crazy. It will be educational. It sure will be. And I should also say, I didn't watch it while we were in school. Someone did exactly this. Yes. They made their own like Jeopardy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, um, all right. That's what we're doing. Um, there's. Po- I'm gonna try to keep track. I'm gonna keep track of your points. Okay. okay. Um, well, who I'll, goes, I'll do that. Who we'll, goes first? We'll roll a dice. I think that's the most. Okay. I think that makes the most sense. I got a twenty. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, you rolled that really fast. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then you're first. Cool. Um, so the only rule I'm going to enforce right now. Yeah. Is that you have to do that thing where you have to ask it like a question. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see. Like what is? Oh, like, what is I don't want to do that. Yeah. What is? Okay. Okay. The, okay. You don't have to do that. But like the answers are gonna be in that format. Okay. Okay. You can't just say like, "Is it this?" Okay. Like, just say it. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't think what I'm are, gonna care that what much. Are the categ- I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what do the categories mean? Yeah, um, I'll just say. I don't can, know. Can, can, can read I think that's a little bit of people. Okay, so I'll read them for everybody, but then, I will not explain them. Okay. Um, we've got the first category is legend lore, uh-huh. okay. and then we've got DM hear me out dot dot dot. Okay. In Candice, <laughs> oral at Dugan's Hole. Oh. And then out of game. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, all right, Spencer, a lot of good. What do you What do you want? Uh, I'll take I'll take Incandis for a hundred. Okay. Oh my God! Uh, just this it. conjuration spell cast by druids and tempest domain clerics has a range of hundred and twenty feet, creates a storm cloud, and forces creatures in its area to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Um. um so hang on. This is also how this works. Normally, what you can do is buzz in. Sure. Right. We don't have buzzers. No, to so take turns. So, any, um, well, you can actually steal. So, if you can say it before the other person does, you get the point. I can't remember the name of it. But for point. now, I will give you one, and then I'll give you one, okay. and then we'll go into that. So, for oh, now, yeah. it's just you, Spencer. Is it, um, give me a second. Yeah, you got it. You got mm-hmm. it. For sure. Mm-hmm. 
It's a hell of a range. It is. Mm-hmm. 120 is crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unless you guys would prefer not to play it that way. You just want to go back and forth. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Right. Um, I think we'll, me and, we'll do it the original. Right, I think me and Spencer are kind of on the same boat where I, we come to this. I mm-hmm. don't know what the spell is. So it can go to Craig. Okay. So you don't know it. That's I can't, how, so normally I can't what would happen is you would buzz in, get yeah. time to think, yeah. and then you'd be done. Yeah. So now, Craig, it's you. I mean, I think I'm in the same boat with you. I feel like I have a guess, but I can't remember. I can't, I'm between like several names. Yes, right? for sure. So it's, it's like it's like Sleet Storm, Hail Storm, Big Ice Rock. I, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> so I'm going to call it Sleet Storm. Sleet Storm. Uh, the answer is Call Lightning. Oh, oh fuck me. The answer me. is Call Lightning. I, w- I can only think of Moonbeam and yeah. then oh. uh, Lightning Bolt. And I was like, it's not, it's not called that. All right, we just have to remember that that's done. Okay. Um, I don't have a way to erase it. Oh, I see. Um, okay. So that's easy enough to know. Yeah, unfortunately, I I, I can't do that. Well, so, I, I think I think then for the for the ease of it, maybe we'll just go. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to DM. Hear me out for a hundred as well. You got it. Um, you have disadvantage on this type of attack roll if you are within five feet of a hostile creature who can see you and who isn't incapacitated. Oh. Okay, hang on. I have to reread it again because I need to say what is. You have, you have disadvantage. Yeah. Is it what is a melee attack roll? Is is, is that the format? That, that isn't. That is no, incorrect. I'm sorry. It's a oh, fuck. Spencer. What is a ranged attack yeah. roll? You I was got it. To, I was trying to fucking got it. read it to format the answer. Yes. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna now we're gonna play with the with the ability to. St- oh, oh no! Don't look at that. Don't look. Don't look, everybody. I, I close my eyes. Okay. Uh, so I just got to trust There's that it's loading. System. And sure. it's not. It's not. I, I tapped it twice. That was my Makes fault. sense. Yeah. yeah I, I got impatient. Mm. Um, so so now how we're going to play it. Now we've done two questions is if you pick it. Yeah. Uh, one of you can blurt it out. I see. Uh, okay. And then that, but other, we would normally play buzzers, but unfortunately we don't have buzzers. Sure. We should have right, got, so got. I know. Buzzers. We should have. should have nut buttons? Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Do I okay. get to go now? Uh, yeah. So you got the question right. So yes. Um, can I have oral at Dugan's Hole for a hundred? Yeah. The the Dwegar at Sunblight used this magical <sighs> material to forge a construct dragon. Uh, what is Charlin? D- ding ding called. ding! You got it, Craig. Great job. You're so smart. Oh, I'm so silly. That's literally. It's what like... is Chartolin? Chartolin Char- <laughs> at Dugan's Hole. Sh- Sharding Char- at Dugan's the Hole. The hard part about Jeopardy is you have to spell it, and then uh, you show them your shitty handwriting uh, and your yeah. shitty spelling. Yeah. <laughs> Might be Chart Alon. Chart Alon. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right, Craig. What do you want? Oh fuck! Uh, I think let's... almost all of a hundred is good. Out let's for... let's let's just stay on that. Let's go out of game for a hundred. Okay. Uh, released in 2017, this book provided 5e with new subclasses, spells, and optional what rules. What is Xanathar's Guide to Everything? You got it. Nice. Craig's out here selling those books. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, I, I cheated on I that thought one. it was Tatcha. Mm-hmm. Um, um, you know what I can probably again. do is I can... What? No, never mind. I should, we just gotta, I just gotta remember. Yeah, it's just, yeah no, no. Yeah. Honestly, it's just I actually kind of like easing into it. All right, great, yeah, cool. Lo, cool, cool. Let's cool, do Legend cool. Lore for 100 now. Okay, for 200? No. no. Or Legend Lore, all right, all right. We'll, we'll just eat them away. Also known as the City of Splendors or the Jewel of the North, this cosmopolitan city is the most influential in all Faerun. What is. Uh, I don't fuck. know. What is. There's just, just two answers. One of them's right. Yeah, One's wrong. I... Say it. Say it. <laughs> Say it. Waterdeep. Yeah, good job. Sorry, I can only think of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> that's a good that's a good guess. All right. Uh Spencer, you get to pick now. Okay. Oh, oh you almost did it again. I almost again. did it again. Um <laughs> let's, Oh fuck. Let's do in Candice for three hundred. Oh shit. With a pinch of sesame seeds, this spell creature uh it's a spell it's I put creatures, it's supposed to be creates. With a pinch of sesame seeds, this spell creates up to a five foot wide. Eight foot tall and twenty foot deep passage. Passage. Um. With sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. Sesame. Um, I don't know. Huh. I mean, what is mold earth? Spencer. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I got for you. Give it. Just um, give a guess. Just anything. Sometimes you never know. You take zero. You win zero percent of the points. Yeah, you, you don't, don't lose win. it. I can't think of a name for it though. Um, I can only think of flesh to stone. That's a good guess. It is unfortunately pass wall. Oh. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that's that spell. That's the pass spell? wall. Uh, it makes a hole in a wall, basically. Oh, that's, fuck that's, yeah. That's what that spell does. Next, next caster, yeah, I'm picking pass wall. Yeah. It's also you should. 
It's also fun too because the what I thought that the that? material point would be with sesame seeds is funny. So it's the oh, it's all so sesame. sesame oh. thing. Ha, 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 ha. Anyways, I see. Yeah. All right, Craig. Uh, well, we'll stay in three. So let's do the oral at Dugan's Hole for three. You can open a portal into the Feywild by uttering this rhyme in the Hall of Illusions, which lyrics include oh. the three lands of Prismere. Fucking uh, Christ. Wander um, yonder. Fucking, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. Wander fucking, yonder, I don't know, is in it. I'm something where. Take um, me hither. Fucking, I'm bald. Hit, I have no uh, hair. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm bald. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> that takes you to the shadow fell. Yeah, one under under pissing hair. <laughs> <clears throat> Fuck, I can only I imagine know. you saying it in my head, and I only get to that part. Um, <laughs> either, I don't know. Either, oh, something or other. Yeah, well, I can't like keep going until you get it. Craig's, you, you actually you yeah. got the first part right. Hither, thither's right. Hither, thither. Oh. I have no clue. Wow. Wow. I was the only one that paid attention during you were, the other like, Really? I know it's written down in my journal over there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think I forfeit, unfortunately. All right. Yeah. Okay. It is hither, thither, here and there, wander yonder. Show, show me, me where. where. Oh, I started in the oh. middle. Spencer. Um. <laughs> yeah. You're like, wander yonder. <laughs> Let's do. I'm, I'm bald and have no hair. <laughs> I do. I, I admit the, the rhyme was that next. I just yeah. couldn't remember the words. Can we have um, DM hear me out for three? As a level one fighter wearing plate armor, equipping a shield makes your AC equal to 23 because of these two apparel magic items and this fighting style. Oh, so I'm um, looking for two magic items and a fighting style. What is bracers of defense and defense fighting style? No. No? Wrong. It's what is... Oh, fuck. Well, it could be either ring or cloak of protection and defense. Um. Uh, sorry, say it again. Defense or because also a magic item. Mm-hmm. Oh, two items. Mm-hmm. Okay, th- then it's the cloak of uh, either a cloak and ring of protection plus defense. That is correct. That is correct. Um, bracers defense. You need to be you not can't wearing, be wearing that. That's hand. exactly what I thought too. I was like, well, that's bracers. Yerp. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? that? Yerp. Yerp. <laughs> no. <laughs> No! <laughs> I don't no, know. No, you're... I, 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 feel, I feel like we should do out of game for three. I don't know if we've done that one or not, mm-hmm. but if we see it, we'll know. Debuting in 2018, this actual play series features characters such as Kristen Applebee's, Sir Theobald Gumbar, and Kingston Brown. I have no idea. Actual play series? Um... I mean, it, that's that fucking. It has to be a Dimension Twenty, like Candy something or yeah. like Candy Kingdom the, or something. Is it? Is it? You know what? That was. I was more vague. I was just oh. looking for Dimension. Oh, 20, so you, there you, you go. Got it. Great uh, yeah, job. it had food references, yeah. and that yeah, seemed yeah, yeah, that yeah, seemed yeah. right. Sorry, I, I made you overthink. I was like, I don't know what, that's, <clears throat> what that is. Uh, it's your turn again. Oh here. shit! Um, what we didn't do Legend Lore for three yet? No, that one. After the Spell Plague, this catastrophic event separated the two worlds of Abir and Toril. And ended when Mistra was returned to life. So we need the name of the catastrophic event. Yep. After the spell plague? Mm-hmm. The fucking spell vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> See, now we need to do this yeah. again, the but fucking, try not to laugh. The fucking yeah. ending of Dominator. Oh, yeah. Damn it, whatever. dude. That, that was funny. The spell vaccine. I don't know. Spencer, you got an idea? My brain is only saying the sundering, but I... Th- don't think that's what it's Whoa. called. Whoa. You've got one part of it right. Oh. That's correct. Uh. The, the, <laughs> okay, the three. <laughs> wow, I'm so impressed you got that. You've got three, two out of three words right. That, so it's just, the, the blank sundering. Oh. Oh. I Look mean, me. think, 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 think Ava. I don't, I don't know. know. <clears throat> The, the mother oh, sundering. No, not the mother sundering. No, <laughs> oh, no, no. Damn. no. I don't know. The soul sundering. The divine sundering. Oh, you know, I'm gonna give it to you fun. anyways, but that's I'm gonna fun. take off 50 points. Okay, uh, that's so fair. So you'll just lose a Partial tie credit. if you guys tie. Okay, okay. Uh, but Partial it is credit. the second sundering. The se- oh. oh, I was thinking. I of the get angels. second impact. Yeah, the yeah. second. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, <clears throat> Spencer, go ahead and pick your next one. 
Uh, we can do in Candice for 200. We'll just go back up a tier. This cantrip's long range is tied with Chill Touch, Dancing Lights, and Firebolt. Oh, Lord. Booing Blade? I don't know. Nope. Oh, so it's long range. Long range is tied with... <laughs> long range. Sorry. It's got his, his range is quite long. Those are I all... read Chill Touch and my brain shut off. <laughs> are those all 60 feet? <clears throat> no, they're 120. 120? Oh, Eldritch Blast. It is Eldritch Blast. Oh, nice, dude. Fucking warlock through and through. Yeah. What are you playing one right now? I'm not. <laughs> I am. Pick. Pick. Um, do Dugan's Hole for two. This famous monster hunter is hiding under the guise of Rictavio in the town of Alaska. What's Alaki. his fucking name? I don't know. Um. Wait. Of oh, you want the actual guy? What's his name? Fucking. Yeah. His guise is Rictavio. I don't know who is Van Richten. It, yep. Yeah. Is, that who, is that what we're talking it's about? It's Rudolph yeah. Van Richten. Oh, God, those guys, I don't know. He has a daughter or him, his grandpa or whatever. Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Octavius Van like, Richten. Yeah. We're in twos? Yeah. I what think the, so. What the hell was that? That was... That, that one was, was this one. And we did that See, one. Yeah, now it's getting hard okay. to find out uh, what hasn't been done. Let's do out of game for two. This was the first collaborative content featured on DD Beyond. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is... <laughs> Is it the Rick and Morty one? <laughs> That's no. really unfortunate. I was it's like, that, that could be it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's First not? collaborative okay. event? It's content. content. Just content. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Can I go again? Uh, Sure. Craig, Craig can make a guess okay. and then you okay. can make another guess. Okay, then free for all. First one. Oh, we're talking about not official, D- like, not official D&D content. Collaborative content. So like we're not kind of like Eberron. We collaborate. Yeah, no, that's because that's technically official. I see, I see, I see. Um, so if it's in a fit, so if it's printed within the D and D official books, so we're not saying like Ack Inc either. Uh, no. Okay, no, that that is. I'm gonna say good tech- old fucking Matthew Mercer critical role. Be more specific. What exactly is it? The the book title. Uh, the fucking, content title. Oh fuck! I don't know Blood Hunter. Yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> It's just oh, a Blood Hunter class. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. This okay. Blood Hunter class. Thank God. What is that fucking book called? Um, it's not Taldora in a book. Reborn, it's Taldora just, campaign setting. Okay. Is I know they released. I think they put it in Taldore, but I know it was yeah. on DD Beyond before all of that. Yeah. That's cool. They just fucking. There was nothing on DD Beyond that was collaborative content until that. Blood Hunter. And that was and the one that started it. And then they took away Mutual Suffering. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah. And then they they updated it later. So. Yeah. All right. I Poor went. Class. I can go back to my my um. OG Kazira, and it says that it's all. Um, what's the, what's the word they use for it? Never mind, I can't think of the word. Damn. Yeah. Go ahead and pick again, Craig. Yeah. Uh, DM, hear me out. I think. I hope. Yes. For which for, one? For two? two. Yeah. Your speed becomes zero. Attack rolls against you have advantage. Your attack rolls have disadvantage, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws while you have this condition. What is incapacitated? Wrong. What is? What is grappled? Nope. What is paralyzed? Nope. What? Fuck. What is... Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Motherfucker. I mean, we're, 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 we're in the stage where you can just say it, right? You no. can say it. You get another turn. Right? No. I think... He's, I mean, he's letting you say it. What I think stunned? we both get... Nope. What? I think I think we both get, like, one, and then it's a free for off to that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, What I'm else fine is that. there? Fucking... What is... Yeah. What is... What is it? Well, it's not stunned or paralyzed. It's not incapacitated. No, because you can still attack. So have advantage against you. You have your attack rolls have disadvantage. Is it what is pro? No, because prone doesn't give you dis- any any kind of fucking shit. Not prone. No, you Dexterity. can still move if you're. Yeah, that's oh. true. You can crawl. Yeah. Anything with that. Um. I think about that stupid dwarf in the. PHP, the one that's gonna be like stuff's happening to him. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. I fucking love that dwarf. He's he's just getting wrecked. Um, I don't know, dude. I, I think Man. I, I think I flawed you. Remember it? I don't I know. I think it's a lot of words. It's a. Uh, it's often associated with grapple. It's normally a monster will be like grappled and oh restrained. Oh, restrained. You got it. Oh. You got it. That's restrained clever. does that to you? Restrained. <clears throat> restrained is a big one. 
a lot of creatures and in a lot of monsters are strain. Players tend to not restrain, is yeah, what I've noticed. It's, it's very strong. Well, yeah, but it's also like it's typically like a tentacle or a bite ability because yeah, they're just bite. so big. You can't move. It's not just a grapple though. Like you, that makes sense. That move. makes sense. Or we're gonna do a point chicken. Uh, okay. Spencer, you've got 850 points. Oh, wow. And Craig, you have 1,200 points. Wow. Which is pretty great. Yeah. Isn't there one that can bet everything away and lose? Oh, yeah, is there the, the daily double? I almost did the daily double, but I, I didn't have time. Oh, we damn. Have, we would yeah. have to write that one down on a piece of paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There, there is Final Jeopardy, though. So. I don't know what that means yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jeopardy D&D. Lepers D&D. Um, okay. Spencer, pick. I'll take Final Jeopardy. You can't take that. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking hit the game now. <laughs> We did all of two, right? I don't know. I think we did. <laughs> when we did all of three. So. I, I, think, I, think, I think we have Legend Lord 2 well, still. We'll know at the end. Well, I had the points together. Uh, and oh, I, I think Legend, Legend Lord for two, for two is then. still not done. This crime organization is the most powerful in Sharn Fuck. and was formed by mm. halfling immigrants from the Talenta Plains. Thank God you're what first. What is the Bormar clan? It is the Bormar clan. Thank God, because I would have never known. If, imagine if I did it and Jack would hate me forever. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking Pick Ilsa again. Bormar. Okay, we have one, two, and three done. Now we're only left with four and fives. Yep. I have beef with You guys play Bormar. Jeopardy very safe. I think this is the best way to do it because I like to go straight for 500s. Oh, yeah. I just I'll try take to start picking Incandis for five. And what you do is you in- you in- you intimidate all the other players. Oh. So they're quaking in their boots. Yeah. They can't yeah. bow. They can't. Yeah. Um, and yep, Candace for four or five? Five. five. For five. 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 Holy shit. This preventive spell requires holy water or powdered silver and iron, which the spell consumes. Shoot. Fuck. Um, yeah, we're getting I should, awfully I should obscure. know this. I feel like it's in my brain I have a little somewhere. bit of a hint for this one. But I don't think it's very helpful. I don't think it does anything. Okay. But when I was writing this question, uh-huh. I was like, where have I heard this before? And I was like, I keep hearing in my head, powdered iron vine. And I was like, oh my God, the Gur Hunter says that when you first meet him mm. in, uh, oh. in Baldur's Gate 3. He goes, ah, a little powdered iron vine. And I was like, ah, oh, that's a reference to this spell, I think. Spell. That's fun. Huh. Is it um, protection from evil and good? Holy shit. Oh, nice job. <laughs> nice job. That's good. That's 500 good. points. All That's right. Good, Hell yeah. Um, do you want to stay on five? Yeah. I mean, well, okay. it, 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 unless you feel like that'd be anticlimactic, then maybe bounce back to okay. fours. Okay. I'll go to Incandus for four. All right. Just knock out the spells. This responsive third level spell only, uh, only component is somatics. Responsive? Third? This responsive third level spells only component is somatics. Third level, huh? Nobody's answered yet, so Craig, you can't answer if you know it. Third level response. I mean, the only one I can think of is Counterspell. It is Counterspell. <gasps> wow. Very nice. Only somatics. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, you pick it, the next one. It's like, yeah. your mom. And it's called, yeah. uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't say anything. No. You just, you just go like that. Yeah. Uh, let's do uh, out of game for five. This is the total number of uploads that Arcane Arcade has. Fucking You're no both going to give a guess, and whoever gets the closest gets mm. the points. I have I no just... idea. Let me think. And uh, no price is right rules. It's, it's you. No, of course. Oh, you, 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 whoever yeah, gets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to be the closest number. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to say five. I'm going to get closest number on. Huh? This is the only question that does some weird rules like this. Oh my god, there's 100 episodes of podcast. Yeah. Oh <laughs> it's my like fucking 130, god. 130, isn't there? So he has a lot. 129. Can I yeah, use a calculator? Yeah, this is going to be 128, 129. No. No? Fuck. No, sorry. But man, sorry. I'm terrible at math. Um, I'm a, oh my god, there's also fucking Zelda's now. How many? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm saying 638. Okay, 638, locked in. I feel like I should know this considering I see the fucking channel every <laughs> yeah. day. It was kind of hard to find, actually. God. They used to show it like that all the yeah. time. You could always see it. Now I had to go on. I had to go on Social Blade to find out. <laughs> it's a lot. Six hundred and thirty-eight yeah. is what you said. Yeah, I'm six hundred. Okay, that's a lot of content. Spencer's counting. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how. I'm like, there's twenty of Waterdeep. There's. <laughs> you, you can't. You, you gotta. You gotta answer the next thirty okay. seconds. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say seven hundred. Spencer, you get the <gasps> points. Oh my god. 781. Ooh. That's uploads. crazy. Yeah. It's wow. insane. That's nuts. Insane. 
All right, Spencer, pick your next one. Um, we'll do DM Hear Me Out for 400. So long as your character, who has a 20 in strength, has the movement, wearing boots of striding and springing <laughs> would let you jump this far. I've... Long jump. Long, long jump. jump. I meant to put long jump. Does the boots double your movement? I'm the ghost of Alex Trebek right now. I, I oh, can't. we're supposed oh, to. We're supposed to do that. Yeah, yeah, you got to figure it out yourself. Uh, um, so it's asking how far? Yeah. yeah, how far, so long as you have the movement for it, which is just a, that's just a thing. Um, you, you, you can long jump this far if your strength is 20. I used to know the calculation because Zero was jumping everywhere. No, I See, don't remember. Lazarus was also doing the same thing. Uh, I thought you think I'd remember. The high jump is the hard calculation. The long jump is the easy calculation. Oh. That one is always like. Yeah, but the boots are throwing me off. I mm-hmm. feel like it's thirty. I think it's twenty, but. You think it's so? If you're wearing, if you're wearing boots and your strength is twenty, it's twenty feet. Yeah, because okay. I think you can jump half your, your strength. And I yeah. think that doubles it. Mm. See, I was thinking the jump spell, which triples it. So I was thinking half that times three. Oh, well. So what's your guess? 30. You're both wrong. Oh. That's, you're, on yeah. the right, you're on the right path, though. Oh. oh. Uh, I guess you just keep going up. Yeah. Like, like 40? 40? No. Is it 50 feet? You... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it 60? It is 60 feet. You do not half it. 60 feet? Wow. You, ju- you always, whenever you long jump, so long as you move the 10 feet beforehand, you can go your strength score. Um, and oh, then, my God. And then your, 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 the boots will triple it because it's Whoa. the jump spell. That's crazy. Whoa. So you go 60 feet. You must, you, we, we, we must be long jumping in descent every day. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to start long jumping places. This blew my mind when I did this as Terra in Witchlight because of how the rules work. I had these... And then I was also fucking that glory, uh, that glory yeah, paladin, yeah. which doubles it. So uh, Tara could high jump 30 feet. Yeah. yeah. She could just she could fucking yeah. fly away. That was insane. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you have to have the movement for it. If you can't move 60 feet on your turn, you can't do it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Right. But if you're out of combat, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. Anyways. It's like, that was a Baldur's Gate strat, wasn't it? Uh, you just jump. Yeah, we, that's instead. how we do our current Baldur's Gate game. Is uh, we all took the tadpole and fly, but Dieter didn't. Mm-hmm. But Dieter has like crazy stat numbers. So every time we we all fly somewhere, he has the most strength. He's like, whoop! <laughs> he just jumps, yeah. and we're like, what the hell? That's cool. <laughs> all right, uh, Craig, you get to decide. Uh, I think. Oh wait, that was DM. Hear me out for for four. For four so yeah. let's do Legend Lore for four. I think. Mm-hmm. We haven't done that one yet. And then we have those two. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, say it again. Legend Lore for four. Hello. Let me in, please. This flowery title follows Lord Soth, the most powerful death knight on Kryn. The b- oh, fuck. It's something rose. This is my guess first, right? Yeah. I'll mm-hmm. say the black rose. That's super close. Spencer, if you're more specific, I'll give you the points. Oh, I don't know. Is the color right? Uh, yeah. There's one word missing. There's one word. The. the oh, that was there it. There you go. There you go. If you don't know it, I, d- I don't know. All right. It. Just give it to Craig. I, Craig, you get it. What is it? But it's it half is point. Night of the Black Rose. But Night I'll give you. Oh. I will give you three fifty. That's how, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Um. <clears throat> okay. You said we still had some stuff in four. Yeah, I think the two over here. Okay. Let, let, let's do Dugan's hole. For four. Yeah. This pet fish turns the mighty Xanathar into a blubbering mess oh. when used as leverage against the crime boss. What is Silgar? Yeah, Silgar? it is Silgar. I don't know why I have that committed to memory, but I do. It's it's just memorable, really. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, okay, well, let's yeah. just do out of game for four. Yeah. I feel like that's all of out of game now. Yes. And we have all out of Angandis. So the only thing left is five for Dugan's Hole, yes. five for DM. Okay, so what's next? Lord, four of Hear Me Out. No, no, I'm sorry. Out of game. Of out of game. I apologize. Oh, oh, you're good. These three titles are the only source books to take place in the Magic the Gathering universe. Oh. Um, oh, fuck, it's mine first again. Yeah. Well, you know, you can... Any, it's anybody's game as oh. soon as I read the question. Gilmasher's Guide to Ravnica. Um, I know those two, but I don't know. Fucking, what is the other one? Don't look. Oh. Odyssey of Theros. 
What's what's the what's the other book? Can I? Can yeah. I? Theros, Ravnica, and Strixhaven. Boom. Oh, you just want the titles? I think you want the titles of the actual like oh, books. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I, 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 thought, I thought that's what you wanted. Wait, wait, wait. No, what did no, you no, think? What did you think? Because it said you wanted the title. The, so like thought, the full title? So I thought you wanted Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica Odyssey of All Theros. Right. I'll, you both can split the points. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> she should definitely have it because I couldn't even fathom Strixhaven in my head. Oh. <laughs> so she should have it because she definitely got at least the names of the planes. You know, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I, was I like, keep deleting your points and then forgetting what they are and I have to undo them. Okay, oh, it's all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we forgot how many points we have. No, 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 no. You undo on the iPhone by shaking your phone. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Did you know that? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you can turn that off. I use it all the time. Oh. <laughs> That's so all right, cool. uh, Spencer. Um, have we done this one? No, we we have that one and then the other two on the left for fives. So five hundred for Oral at Dugan's Hole. A worshipper of Merkel. This green hag can perform the rite of stolen life to turn any dead characters into zombies. What? So I know I've thrown you off a little bit with the legend lore questions, but the oral at Dugan's Hole, all of these are pre-readings yeah. you guys have played. That's kind of what I figured. <clears throat> Who is Nanny Poo Poo? Oh my God. Spencer. <laughs> Spencer, nice job. Nice. That That's is, the only half that name I can remember. That is so fucking. <laughs> I really thought it would be like Bav Lorna. Like you guys no. would like be like a hidden wow. little piece of Lorna. We Poo-Poo. killed that lady. Yeah. Yeah. Nanny Poo Poo's dead. Sight. Yeah. She yeah. was like, hello. Ah. Her name's Poo Poo. Her name was Poo Poo. <laughs> uh, DM, hear me out for five. This psionic subclass allows a character to re-roll attacks, become invisible, and telepathically communicate. What is Psy Warrior? Ren- uh, no. No? The fuck is Psy? What is that? Allows character to re-roll attacks, become invisible. What the fuck? I don't know. What is... What the fuck is the rogue one called? I don't know. What is Mastermind Rogue? Uh, you're close, but no. Damn. Um, I don't know. Rogue, rogue is right. Oh, what rogue is, is f- fucking? What is it? It's like Ghost Blade, Ghost Phantom. You're oh, so close. It's Phantom not Phantom something or other. Phantom's it's wrong. Like, no, I thought Phantom was right. Phantom is a rogue subclass, but it's not this one. Oh. Oh, what's well, a rogue? I don't know. I don't know either. It's not Mastermind. <laughs> it's, it's not, not ma- fucking. No, Mastermind is what Lark was. Is it assassin? No, oh. it's psionic. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> Is it like Blade something? You're, oh, that's kind of the name. Um, kind of. But oh. It's not Blade, but it's oh, close. It's, 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 like, it's, like, it's one that's like Soul Knife. Or Soul something. Knife! That's what it's called. Yeah. Got it. It's Soul Knife. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> Bingus Wingus. Yeah. Bingus Wingus. Bingus Wingus. Bingus of the Wingus. That was... I want to say no, no fucking Alex Beck would have given me and Spencer the time to go. Uh, <laughs> does yeah. it sound like yeah, like this? two seconds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Okay, there's only one left. Let's Which one it. is it? That one. Legend Lord for five. Legend Lord for five. Most undead are animated by the power of this plane, as oh. it is the source of negative energy in Eberron, and is said to be the darkness that promises to swallow even the brightest day. What is Delore? No. No. Fuck. I, I, I don't know. Most it's all yours. Animated by this plane. I only know. Everyone's got some of those names where you can just like say shit, and it'll just it'll it'll sound right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Um, I feel like you'll get this one if I start talking like Jack. It's like there are a lot like of one that starts with an M. The, there's a lot of what are those zones called? Manifest. Zones? Yeah, there's a manifest zone I think in um in Carnath. Yeah. It's a uh huh manifest zone. I remember Mabarin. it. You fucking got it. See, that's what I'm oh. saying. I don't remember anything ever on, but as soon as I think about Jack talking yeah. about Eberron, I'm like, Mabarin. It's yeah. he always says Mabar, and I don't know what it means. <laughs> Uh, Great job. Thank you. Okay. The fuck is Final Jeopardy? All right. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go to Final Jeopardy. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do point tallying. Spencer, you're at 3, 4, 50. Uh-huh. And Craig, you're at 3, 2, 50. Oh. So I'm going to round you both up to 3, 500 and then 3, 300. Okay. Because uh-huh. you both had the, those, those hot, questions. Yeah. So the way Final Jeopardy is going to work okay. is I'm going I'm to go to it if it'll let me. Um, is uh, the the I, do I have this this next thing? Let me just double check okay. that this is going to be correct here. Okay, so 
uh, the way I'm going to do this is I put a poll out on 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 Twitter, oh. um, and there are four adventures that okay. are the most, uh, the highest, um, uh, th- they're the best selling modules, oh. um, right? Mm-hmm. So okay. there's going to be some insight here, but yeah. you get points. You will get a hundred points for every one you get correctly in its slot, and also. You will get 100 points for every... Uh, I've also polled everybody on Twitter and asked them uh, if... Uh, uh, I wrote three, but it's actually four. Which ones they've played the most of. So you will get 100 points These for every basic, every one that you get correctly. Mm-hmm. So you have two stacks of four. There are four adventures that are the highest selling. Okay. You're going to order them in best selling, uh, you know, highest to least... Okay. And then you're going to order them in played most. But you don't I know see. either of them. Okay. But they're both the same four right. adventures. Okay. And do I write them down? Uh, yeah, you can write them down. Okay. You can, I mean, it, it might help you out to think think about it being written down a little more. Okay. Um, I don't even have the answer on here because I don't know what it is. I'm just going to look up here at these really quick. Yeah, you're good. So... Okay. Just again, if you, if anybody is confused, there are four adventures that are the highest selling. You know, highest don't look them up. Selling. Highest okay. selling. These are adventures. Um, adventures, modules, modules, adventures, whatever you want to call so them. So any of the books. Uh, not I, I'm Only not going to count right? s- source books. Okay. So, uh, for example, <laughs> Everon Rising from the Last War. Yeah. That is that is to me a source book. Right. It could be on this list. It just isn't. I'm giving you a hint. It's not. Okay. Um, so it, these are. Strictly adventures, okay. things you can run, um, and I have asked uh, my Twitter followers which ones they have played the most. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, uh, fuck. Okay. And people who have played the most. Oh, shit. Oh, no. And if you guys are playing at home, I'm curious to see what you think about this. And if you want to put your thoughts in the comments right now, if you're on Spotify, head over to YouTube, click on our video, give it a little view, and then... uh, Put you put your put what you think in the comments. That'd be fun if we could all go through the comments and see because I think this is a interesting thought experiment when it comes to what we think about the modules. I th- I have a strong feeling you guys are going to get this right, but one of these surprised me, and then as I thought about it, it didn't surprise me. And I think it's a fun topic of discussion that we can go into as we talk more about our about the podcast. You know. Jesus. My fucking phone is autocorrecting to the strangest shit. <laughs> okay, I, I I think I have it. All right, <clears throat> Spencer, let me know once I'm you're ready. Almost there, I think. <clears throat> All right, no, you, you feel free to take your time. A lot of fucking books. Yeah. Now that I'm, mm-hmm, now that I'm mm-hmm. thinking about it, mm-hmm. it's a lot of fucking books. Shit ton of them. Quite a lot. Yeah, they do. They do be fucking cooking. Um. For the four that oh wait the four that we they've played the mo- that they've played is it ranked on who's played the most, or are we just supposed to get four that are popular? Yeah, there's basically a first slot, a second slot, a third slot. It's most popular to least I popular. See. Okay. Maybe I'm not so it's quite. sales and popularity. Okay, I but see. it's my Twitter followers. So like, what does that mean? Yours or? But there are, it does have five hundred and sixty votes. So a lot, yeah, a lot. And fucking Melissa responded to it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, I think I think I have what I think. Oh shit! <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I'm 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 good. I'm ready to. How do okay. You, how do you want these? Uh, uh, Craig, you finished yours first, so we're gonna go sales first, okay. and then we're gonna do popularity. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> sales down. What do you? What's what's your what's your rank? So the first one being the best. Yes, the I most. The, like, the highest selling. I like the highest selling. Was Curse of Strahd. Okay. Then Descendant Avernus. Okay. Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Okay. And then Rhyme of the Frostmaid. All right. Uh, can you say those again? Yes. Curse, Avernus, Waterdeep, Rhyme of the Frostmaid. You have 100 points. I feel like that's right. Spencer? Um, I put Dragon Heist. Okay. Curse of Strahd. Okay. Tomb. Okay. And then Horde of the Dragon Queen. 
Oh, oh unfortunately, shit. You, you have zero points. Oh, damn. I forgot about horror. <clears throat> now, what I am going to do now in this section. Wow. The, 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 I, not, only one of these were the best selling? Curse of Strahd is correct. Curse of Strahd being number oh, one is correct. But, but, but they're out of sequence. That's why yes. they're wrong. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was like, that's crazy. None of these are the best let's go, ones. Let's go popularity. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, what, what's, what's your rank here? I think the most popular games mm-hmm. would be Waterdeep, Curse of Strahd, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, Rye Iron and Frostmaiden. Okay. And Spencer? Okay, I may have done this wrong. That, unfortunately, is zero, zero points. Mm. Okay, I put um, Dragon Heist is one. Okay. Curse of Strahd is two. Okay. And then Tomb and then Tyranny of Dragons. Four. Um, wait, t- where's, where's Tyranny of Dragons at? Four. Four? Yeah. Yeah, un- unfortunately. You guys are both so close. Wow. But that is, that is 100 points to you, Craig, which is puts you 100 points behind Spencer. <gasps> wow. Spencer, you win with 3,500 points. The- you guys got so close. Not bad. Uh, I'm going to read them right now, but I just want, I want to finish off the game there. Thank you for playing this yes. uh, this silly, silly game. Let us know your points. Yes, Great let us job. know your points. Um, ho- uh, everybody, tell me what your points were in the comments. I would love to know that. So, going to that last question. Yeah. The top four selling, and I, I may have done this wrong, but I think you guys did a good strategy sure. by listing a lot of adventures because you could shotgun and try to get a lot of points. I think that was a good idea. But number one is Curse of Strahd Makes for best selling. Yeah. Then it's Dragon Heist, uh-huh. which I, I think is Makes awesome. Sense. Makes sense. Um, I didn't know that. Um, then it's... Horde of the Dragon Queen. Yeah. Wow. Uh, then it's Tales from the Yawning Portal. Oh. That also makes sense to me. Because they put that fucking two more horrors in yeah. there. Those bastards. And then it is ranked exactly the same in terms of uh, what people have played. Curse of Strahd on my poll has 60%. Wow. Dragon Heist has 21%. Horde of the Dragon Queen has 10. Wow. And Yawning Portal has 9. They are so neck and huh, neck. That's but crazy. they were exactly the same. So that's I thought that it would be a little bit out of order. I thought yeah. a lot more people would have like, oh, I bought this, but I played this one. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I, But yeah, crazy to me. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's nuts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What really surprised me was that Ghosts of Salt Marsh is 5. Yeah. Like that's what? nuts. Like, Ghosts of Salt Marsh well, is the 5th. It's also like a re-release fifth. of... 5th well, what? Like uh, most played? Uh, best selling. Best no, that, that that also doesn't surprise me, because that was like we're we talking about like height of D and D, like the craze. It's, 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 that, it's that era yeah. where you go from uh, tomb, uh, yawning portal, ghost into descent. Yeah, or, or, no, into uh, dragon deep mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or water deep. That's, that's like, true. That, that, that's, 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 like that's the when year of like huge. really crazy shit blow ups. Mm-hmm. And I get why. I remember being hyped about Ghost of Saltmarsh. I remember it coming out and being like, oh my god, pirate game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it isn't. No. But they have cool boat mechanics. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite part is the is the is the appendixes of Ghosts of Saltmarsh. Yeah, great shit. The adventures, bleh. Um, Spelljammer. Surprisingly, I, I I don't know why I'm surprised by any of this. I I just don't. I've never thought about this. Yeah. But I thought Spelljammer sold bad. It, yeah. It's number six. Yeah. And then Rhyme of the Frostmaiden is seven. Mm-hmm. Tomb of Annihilation is eight. Mm-hmm. Candlekeep Mysteries is nine. And Out of the Abyss is ten. Descent wow. into Avernus is 12. That's crazy. That's some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and no. It's crazy, though. Uh, the, 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 I think, do you guys know the worst selling? The think worst it. it's, one? Re- it's really easy if you think about it. It's probably the fucking keys to the vault one. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, uh-huh. that was during... right after yeah. OGL. Yeah, OGL. Yeah. Dropped, and they just lost a I knew Curse for sure because they re-released the book. Yeah, that's why. And yeah, then... The double, <laughs> yeah, the, it's the like the Skyrim of, <laughs> of D&D. Dragon Queen is the first book that they put out, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Horde of the Dragon Queen. Yeah. No. Was that before Fandelver? I mean, not technically, but that, that's the first like book, like, like book that yeah. they was Horde. That's what... Uh, that's what I don't think I have Fandelver on this list. And maybe they didn't count it. I feel like that would be up there. Yeah, because that's, that's not really starter like a starter set. That's what Melissa put on her tweet. She put, where's Fandelver oh. with a well, gun? Well, it's not really a book. So it's... Well, I guess it, there's a book lit, but it's in the starter set, isn't it? Yeah, I was just thinking mm, about. Yeah. 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 I, I, honestly, I shouldn't be surprised at that because that makes sense. That would be the first. Yeah. Because that, that's where everyone started was mm-hmm. that. But it's just funny because those top ones, I'm like, yeah. I mean, it makes... You're right. It's about the hype. I didn't mm-hmm. even think about that. I remember buying all those books. That, that's like all the fucking games that were like packs, like fucking Chris Perkins looking like Acerac. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's when Critical Role like really began to like blow up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A ton of people are playing that crazy i and it's funny because like it like i think the best one like dragon heist being up there is cool 
because mm-hmm. I th- I still think that's one of the best adventures they've mm-hmm. ever written. Yeah. No, I, um, it is. A, a, per, my favorite is that one. I think it's the best one they've ever written. I think I I personally, I think Icewind Dale's number two, mm-hmm. and the, and then it's Curse of Strahd. I think those two tie out for me. They're both so good, but in different ways. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm gonna be I'm running rhyme again for some friends online. Um, and we're doing just kind of like a casual game and I've been rereading it and I'm like, fuck, this book is good. Yeah. <laughs> now that I've read the whole thing and I know it and I go back and read it, I'm like, man, this book is awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It, you just can't think about it like a horror book. There's horror elements, but it is, what I love about Icewind Dale is it's so down to clown. Like, I don't know how to explain that. Like, it's just so like... If you want to do this, go for it. Mm-hmm. Well, you you want to have a slot in your chest? Pfft, sure. Here we wrote a bunch of ways that you can like have that happen in the campaign. Um, you could. There's so many. There's so much weird shit. It's I don't know. It's great. It's great. Mm-hmm. So is Witchlight. Witchlight's also very. So I, I was thinking like recent people getting into Witchlight too. Or recent people mm-hmm. getting into D and D is like the waves, right? Um, and uh, Legends of Avantress are huge right now. Mm-hmm. yeah i've heard D&D about that and they did a huge thing with two games i mean they have plenty of games that are like super super notable and their special one's getting huge um but it's curse of strahd with yeah. uh curse of Sh- uh, shredania being mm-hmm. the gender flopped strahd oh that's cool and then which like mm-hmm. which Man. is like has to push 90 percent of that, the sales of that book that's cool yeah it has to and Man. i figured people would be playing like right now they would have been playing which like i remember adventures being small I remember yeah. them being yeah. really tiny and yeah. then I close my eyes and then suddenly they're huge. And I'm like, what? Yeah. That's crazy. That's so cool. I mean, good for them. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's great. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? How much time do we have? How much time do we have? Like four minutes. Four, four minutes? minutes. That's yeah. enough to do like 100 questions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> quickly. We're going to run. Th- we'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll go a little over. We'll go if we if we have to. But, sure. but we have another hour. We do have another hour. We will be answering more questions on the bonus episode. We try not to answer too many Twitter questions on bonus, but we do answer your questions that are in the Discord. Yeah. If you want to go yes. hop in on there. We're going yeah. to only talk about Stardew Valley update. In the oh, are we? Valid. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Ready for ready for the speed round, y'all? Please. We just did Jeopardy, you guys. Your brains, brains are on fire. My yeah. brains. Mad Harry Aaron is gun to Mark asks, do I really need to tap out my hashtag Arcane Lounge podcast for my questions? I'm really lazy. Yes, we just we just yes. got the thing for the hashtag, guys. It's really important. Yeah. Maybe someday <laughs> we'll get Arcane Arcade as our mm-hmm. as our app. Mm-hmm. Oh please. Please. Everyone go That'd be cool. Go bully that person. No, don't no, don't, don't, do do that. That. don't do that. Don't do that. They haven't legal- tweeted in like twelve years. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Legally Artemis asks, what do you recommend as a first 5e pre-written to run for experienced players? Wow. wow. That's funny. They didn't know we were doing this. What a first 5e next? pre-written to run for experienced players? So you're you're a new DM and you have experienced players. Mm-hmm. The Tomb of Horrors. I'm just kidding. Don't do yeah. that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, I think Dragon Heist. Still. I think I agree. Yeah. Dra- Dra- because it's low level. Yeah. It's easy for you as a DM and you get to power scale your experienced players down a little bit. Yeah. So they can't be surprising you with some insane shit that they know how to play. Plus Dragon Heist has some of the, I, in my opinion, Dragon Heist has the most nuanced story mm-hmm. that they've ever written. It is, it will, it makes you think there's a lot of choices that you have to make and the book does not a lot of times give you answers to those questions. A lot of the pre-written's, like to go, here's the, what the players can do. Here They can do this or they can do this. Or if there's another option, maybe you can think of that. Like the endings tend to do that mm-hmm. where they'll be like, here's a bunch of options. Fuck, Dragon Heist just doesn't do that shit. They're just going, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you let a yeah. 99 people die? Mm. I, think it's, I think it's also pretty easy to like jump into as a DM because I think one of the hardest skills for a DM to develop is keeping tone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of D&D books have tones you need to make sure you manage. I don't think Waterdeep does because it's kind mm-hmm. of just generic fantasy. Yes. So it's pretty easy. Um, yeah. There's some areas that you, are kind of spotty, but you really don't have to keep tone for the villain you choose and yeah. the season you get. But that's the cool thing too is that you can really set a tone if you want one based yeah. on the villain yeah. that you choose. Yeah. If you want something a little more silly, go with Xanathar. If you want something that's kind of dark, I mean, go with the Castle Lanterns. If you yeah. want more of like political intrigue, do Manchun. And if you want like... 
a little bit of, of like you want somebody who's like a jovial kind of villain, but also like you want there to be some serious moments too. This kind of like this motherfucker who keeps fucking with us is Jarl Axel. Jarl Axel is the best. Yeah. And you, that's the best part about that book too is you really get to set the tone yourself. And that's so much fun. Yeah. Oh, yep. It really lets you as a DM like just understand how DMing how, how, for you. It lets you figure out how you like to DM. I think that's, that's what's so beautiful about that book is I learned so much running Dragon Heist. I was like, oh, I didn't know I could do this. Oh, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. the, the biggest flaw of that book, in my opinion, is it comes to a screeching halt right after the... Uh, you do the first level adventure where you help out Volo, and then you do Tavern Simulator, and Tavern Simulator can kind of be a lot mm -hmm. um and if you don't want to fuck with that just don't just move on to chapter three like don't even no. fuck with chapter two just skip to the fireball and and get going with the plot um it's very it's very fun but some players really want to do tavern simulator and that's like their favorite part and one of the most memorable moments we ever had in one of our campaigns was was in tavern simulator when logan put that rat guy in that <laughs> barrel <laughs> man yeah I was randomly scrolling through uh, old Even Fall episodes because Grace and I were looking for something and I stumbled upon some random thing that Logan said and it was making me laugh really hard. Um, I don't remember what it was. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Shirk and Sean asks, Heck, Helk Divers 2 stream when? Uh, don't let Colton yeah. hear that. He'll 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 annoy me about it. I'm fucking erupt. Um, but it's fun though. I'd love to do the Helldivers stream. That'd be a great time. <laughs> Honk Shoe Spencer's... What is this? Honk Shoe Spencer's Hard Cut Mystery Fun asks... Mm -hmm. With a picture of, I, I think this is Waluigi at the top of a lemon. Oh my god. That's that's okay. that's crazy. Uh, with Neuralink getting us just a bit closer to our dystopian cyberpunk future hour, to our dystopian cyberpunk future, what a cyberpunk type augmentation to your body that you think would help you in your actual day to day. Fucking Kiroshi Optics, dude. If I could zoom in, oh, that'd be amazing. I would love to be able that's to true. be like, what is that? Ah, got it. I don't know. Oh, there's that implant where they can like, you can like tune out certain people to only hear one person. Oh mm. yeah. That's I, a good those one. are the two things I want. I want to be able to see far away and I want to be able to t t turn everybody else off and only hear my wife. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes I can't hear you. Yeah. Or just to turn everybody out into like only my baby's frequency. Yeah. That's what I would want. <laughs> those are, those are the two frequency? I want. Yeah. Love those. That's a good one. Oh, and I guess mono wire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. But just to, like, grab things? Yeah. Yeah, just to grab things. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, I only want Mantis Blades to, like, whack the weeds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Whing! It's the... dun 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 <laughs> you know, mono wire would be good for whacking weeds as well. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be terrible if it broke like a weed whacker does. No, yeah. it's what if, flying. You're like, oh shit. Fuck. Yeah. What if I I just have like a little bit of it right here? Yeah. And I go, and it's it's the it's, it's a weed whacker. Yeah. That's great. I don't know. I think I think, I, I think that'd be useful. Yeah. yeah. Spencer, what do you want? Um, can I be taller? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. You'd be taller, taller. but it's only your legs. That's fine. Have really long. Legs. This, is, this is some big overalls. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're like Hello. always, always wearing high waters. <laughs> yeah. Frenzied Boar asks, "I'm running a very homebrewed game of D and D where I have given my players passive and active abilities, like in video games, and I'm planning on giving them revamped ultimates. Seeing as the ones they have now are either lackluster or ultimate, how would you do it? Uh, I, I don't know how I'd do it, but I like that idea." A lot. That's kind of like what I'm doing with this end. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a great idea. It's fun. Um, we're also kind of doing it with the new Eperon rules. Everybody has like an ult move yeah. that they can do. And I think it's fun to give your players passives and ults. Mm -hmm. It's fab. We're just reverting to fourth edition. Yeah. We're just we're just stepping backwards. <laughs> we're Before just... It's time. That's my fun. That's the funniest fucking thing ever. Whenever somebody releases a new system, people are talking about Daggerheart. Or like, people are talking about some new homebrew thing. And all of the fucking fourth edition people come out of the woodwork being like, You! You! That's my fourth edition! <laughs> <laughs> Um, Colleen asks, hello, every Nyan, ev e hello, hello, every Nyan. That's what it says. <laughs> if you could hire any celebrity voice actor to voice a D and D character or NPC of yours, who would you pick? Oh, I was thinking about this recently. I was going to, I, I actually no wanted idea. to ask you what? I have no idea. You know, you don't think? No, I don't think. Uh, I want Christopher Walken and the voice Lazarus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause Sarah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I have to stop Oral. <laughs> Oral? I don't give a fuck about these 10 towners. Yeah. I can eat my ass if I had you one. Know, that would have made him so much. Here, I'm Dritz Dole <laughs> yeah, This is, this is, this is dickhead on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell wish you. Immolation, you're taking this a bit far. <laughs> Any, any fear 16 that children. Kazira felt towards Lazarus? <laughs> what do you change? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing Christopher Walken voice all week we because of have, Dune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baron. Yeah. More deep. <laughs> oh, they, or, 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 or you can have uh, Paul Walker. Uh, Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Walker. <laughs> oh, Paul Walker. Oh, Paul Walker. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Paul Walker be Baron, and they just accidentally die on the same thing. So we're like, oh, Paul, Paul wraps up around a tree. Baron's dead. <laughs> Baron died of a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta write him out. Yeah. Why did they CG Paul Walker into this movie he was never supposed to be a part of? <laughs> um, I actually have a real answer. Hang on. Do you okay. have a real answer? That's I gotta... good. Unfortunately, I don't think I do. I can't think of any... These questions always get me. It's like, oh, yeah, that'd be nice. And then... Someone actually asks the question, and I'm like, "It's gone. It's all gone." I can't think of any actor or actress that has ever been and what they sound like. Phil Parsons. If if I had infinite money, Phil Parsons for Zarephus. Phil Parsons does uh does the English dub voice of Kenny in Attack on Titan. Oh yeah, he oh. is he is literally who I based Zarephus's voice off of. He that one point when he says he says uh. Hey there, Levi. You still a you still a runt, or you grown some? I was like, yeah. that's that's how I get into my Azarephus voice. Yeah. Um, I just didn't do as much as a cowboy accent. Yeah. Because in in originally Azarephus as a concept, he's like a cowboy, mm-hmm. so I think he kind of sounds like this. But I was like, ah, uh, he's gonna be like street rat Azarephus, yeah. so I'll just kind of take that part out, and he'll just sound like this instead. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's 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 the that, voice I do for him, and I make it like me. a little bit like. Rah. That reminded me that last night you said that Azarephus is evil Moses. <laughs> Okay, so we were watching Prince of Egypt, uh-huh. and like we were watching it, and I was like, "Man, I don't know. I think this is where my complex of liking a character who becomes exiled from a place, yeah. and then goes out in the middle of the of the boonies, hangs out with some people out there, and becomes a different person, yeah. came from this." You were like, "Is this a Zarephus?" And I'm like, "Yeah, a Zarephus is evil Moses." Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you find a concept and you're just like that. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking of it, but it was, your, it was it lived in my subconscious. From your childhood. Somebody said that recently in the in the in the Discord. They were like, "Hey, uh, Tetra reminds me of Terra," and I was like, "That it oh. definitely had an influence that I didn't realize that my brain took yeah. influence from." Yeah, yeah. That's it's just one of those things. It's like it lives in your brain. You don't know it. You create it, and you go, "Fuck, yeah. that's that already." Mm-hmm. All right. Your friendly neighborhood corpse something, uh, cleric. Also, I'm moving on because you guys said that you didn't have any actual answers. No, unfortunately not. Okay, all right. Kind of dog shit. Hey, gang. I have a Warhammer-related question. Uh, Uh Bad. We don't know much. We know some things. Some? Yeah. Not a lot. If your D&D characters were in Warhammer, what faction would they be in? Why? Also, y'all make me really miss being able to play D&D regularly. That's such a... a Xerophus is part of the fucking... He's he's probably a follower of Slanesh or... or, Oh, um, see? Or a... Uh, probably not Nurgle. My fucking character. Probably I, I keep though. wanting to play as part play, play part of fucking Nurgle. Yes. Uh, is it that uh, fucking that, Gerber? Yeah, Gerber yeah. the yeah. the fish the the sea not a sea urchin yeah, but he's the, a the little triton angler fish angler guy. fish thank yeah. you yeah fucking I will play him <laughs> so bad <laughs> it's gross <sighs> oh oh I, there was something I wanted to add to. A Zarephus voice. Yeah. Um, I did notice though that after a few games, first of all, the the fu- this was the process. I we did our session zero, and Grace kept laughing because she thought I sounded like Grunkle Stan. <laughs> I was laughing really hard. Who is that? <laughs> From um, what's that show called? Hey Dipper. Gravity, like, gravity he just kind of sounds like that. I don't know yeah. what that is. Oh. Gra- so, you know what Gravity Falls? No. Well, I, I know. I know the show. And I can think about it. Oh. In my head, okay. But I've never seen it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Well. Grunkle stands in that. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I was like, you're not wrong. It do kind of sound like yeah. Grunkle Stan. Uh, and then three or four games in, I realized I was like, oh, God damn it. I just sound like Lazarus as well. Because it's the same. It's kind of the same voice you did for Lazarus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucked. Just, they both just are like. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just a little monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, sorry. Go ahead. I wasn't going to say anything. No, please answer the question. Oh, uh, all, my, the question. all my characters would go hang out with those guys. Oh, I fucking love those guys. Over there. Those guys. How long have those guys been here? I mean, that's all of Warhammer just over there. 
Wow. Entire 40K of them? Yeah. Oh, my God. Over there. Oh, shit. See them? They fit that, so well in the space. Is that Henry Cavill? Uh, yeah. He's hmm. friends with them. He likes... He, he You know, see all that stuff they're wearing? He yeah. painted it all. Oh, yeah. With his, with his own little hands. Yeah. Justin one time uh, just played a, a Necron in your, in your games. Oh, yeah, he did. That was he cool. I was Motec. awesome. Well, he played... He played a character... I don't, I don't know if he... He played a Necron, or he played the Necron, because his name's even after. He's now a magic card, uh, huh? Emotech. That, that, yeah, that's yeah. what his character was. Yeah, it's pretty much him. Pretty awesome. Fucking crit. Yeah. Look, look, we 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 the episode at some point. Yeah. But Justin's Emotech character sits fucking rent free in my head Good. because <laughs> me going, I'm gonna kill this entire college of students, and then he marks everyone for death, and I'm like, <laughs> he did exactly what I wanted to already do. Because it's that thing where he like ha- ha- has like the dome, and I'm yeah. like, okay, you can save some people. He's like, can I see the people that are not going to make it? And I was like, sure. He's like, I pushed them out of the dome, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. That is yeah. fuck, it's so cool, so cool. All right, see you yeah. in the bonus podcast. Oh, that's, b- that's it. That's, that's it. it. We're cutting you oh, off. Wait, what nope. is your favorite thing to order at a Chinese restaurant? It's orange chicken.